Hello everyone and I welcome all of you to online study for you a complete placement solution friends. This is Pratik Srivastava here and today I am going to discuss in TQ sample paper aptitude question with shortcut methods. So you will be able to solve the questions in very less amount of time and all these questions will be very very important for your upcoming examination. This will give you a idea of level of the question. So let us start with the question number one. So friends you can say this problem is from the topic percentage. Okay, so this is from the topic percentage we have right. Okay, so 10% of the pens produced in a factory are found defective and 20% of the remaining are sold in factory outlet. So friends whatever data has been given in the question. So accordingly first you write it and then we will try to solve it. So 10% of the pens produced in a factory are found defective. So suppose in the factory there were total 100 pens. Friends you are free to assume any value. You can assume 200, 400, 500, 1000. You can assume X, Y, Z. But if you assume any other value than 100 then your calculation will become complicated. You will still get the answer. I am telling you you will be still able to get the answer. So 100 pens were there. 10% is defective. So can you tell me how many percentage of pen will be good? So it is very much clear the 90% of the pen will be good. Okay, so 90 pen is nothing but good. Okay, fine. Then and 20% of the remaining. So friends as we know 10% is defective. So we have taken it out now 90% that means 90 is good and that is what is remaining. So 20% of the remaining are sold in factory outlet. So if you sell 20% in the factory outlet, then how much will be remaining with you? Definitely 80%. So 80% of 90 will be what? You can directly say, sir, it will be 72, but still I will show you here. So now 72 pins will be remaining, right? Okay. So you had 100 pins out of that 10% were defective. That means you had 90 good pins. Out of that 90, 20% is sold in factory outlet. So definitely 80% will be there with you. So 72 pins are remaining, right? Okay. Now, if the remaining 5,040 pins are shipped to other retail store. So friends, basically if you'll see when you have considered because 100 we have assumed, right? So when you assumed 100 pins that time, we have 72 pins remaining. Okay, but in the question they are telling actually 5040 pins are remaining, right? Okay, so in 172. So in how many 50 40 will be there? So you see what is the times? So 5040. If you will try to divide it by uh, 72, then it is 7 and 0, 70 times. So this is nothing but 70 times. So this will be also 70 times because it has to maintain the ratio. So 7000. So basically we had assumed 100 pins, but actual number of pins was 7000 and out of that 5050 of uh, 5040 pins are shipped to the other retail store. Then the number of pins that was defective. So number of pins that was de defective was nothing but 10%. So we have calculated the total number of pain. If you'll calculate 10%. So it will be nothing but my dear friends. It will be 700. This problem is very easy, but I wanted you to explain, uh, you know, by the small concepts by taking the all the data, uh, right? So that is the reason it took more time. If you want to take X and calculate, then no problem. So suppose total number of pen is X, right? Okay, 10% is defective. So 90% of the pen will be good. Okay, then again 20% sold in factory outlet. So definitely 80% will be remaining and that is nothing but equal to 50 40. So if you'll solve so 0 0 cancelled 0 0 cancelled. Okay, so X will be equal to X into basically 72 will be equal to 5040 into 100 and this will divide this by 70 times. So again X you will be get, able to get 7000 right and now 7000 10% will be equal to 700. So both the method you can use friends. It's up to you. You will be getting the same answer, right? So I hope you would have understood this particular problem. Now friends question number two. So question number two uh, 
is from the topic edges right problems on edges so pratik age that means pratik is my name okay so pratik age 3 year hence multiplied by 3 and from that subtracted 3 times pratik age 3 years ago will give you pratik exact age how old pratik is problem is very very simple only thing you need to understand friends suppose your present age is suppose your present age is x okay so if i ask you what will be your age after 3 years then your answer will be sir x plus 3 if i will tell what was your age 3 years before then you will tell x minus 3 right so this is the basic concept of age now let us read this and try to understand so pratik age after pratik age 3 years hence so i will assume pratik age now is p okay so pratik age 3 years hence so 3 year hence means p plus 3 so pratik age 3 year hence multiplied by 3 okay and from that and from that subtract subtract 3 times pratik age okay from that subtract 3 times pratik age 3 years before 3 years before means p plus 3 will give you pratik exact age right so this will be nothing but it will give you pratik exact age okay so let us multiply here so 3p plus 9 minus 3p plus 3 okay now so 3p and 3p cancelled i am sorry so minus minus plus and 3 3 will be 9 so 9 plus 9 will be 18 that means pratik age is nothing but 18 years old so how old pratik is so this is nothing but 18 years old so only this basic concept was used here and then you will be easily able to get the answer now friends question number 3 so question number 3 is the average score of rohit sharma in a certain number of innings is 43 so suppose in x innings so rohit sharma played x innings and he scored 43 runs okay now fine so he then played another 8 innings so he is going to play another 8 innings he played basically and he scored 96 1 22 67 39 48 69 2 so what is the new average of rohit sharma after those eight innings so first what we will do here friends so we will calculate the average here so average will be nothing but sum divided by number which everybody knows so sum 96 plus 1 plus 22 Plus sixty-seven, plus thirty-nine, plus forty-eight, plus this sixty-nine plus two. I will directly write seventy-one. Right? Okay. And divide by total number, so eight innings. Right? Okay. So even you can write sixty-nine plus two. I directly added it. Okay. Now, now friends, let us add everything. So one plus eight is nine. Nine plus nine is eighteen. Eighteen plus seven is twenty-five. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. 28 plus 6 will be 34 4 3 will be in hand okay now 3 plus 7 will be 10 10 plus 4 will be 14 14 plus 3 will be 17 17 plus 6 will be 23 23 2 will be 25 and 25 plus 9 will be again 34 divided by 8 so 8 4 ja 32 and 8 3 ja 34 so interesting friends so in x inning also the average was 43 and now also the average is 43 so his old and new average will be same so new average is also same as old average friends see after that suppose he played two innings in one he scored 46 and the another he scored 40 so if you calculate the average then average is nothing but 86 by 2 that is nothing but 43 so his average remains same even after two innings so this one is one example i have taken so with eight innings also if his average is 43 that means his average is same his average is not gonna change it okay now friends question number 4 so question number 4 is a question from time and work okay so 20 women were employed to do some work in a certain time but when one third of the schedule time was over it was found that only one fourth of the work was completed 
how many more women employed to complete the work in three by fourth of the originally scheduled time. So let us assume the scheduled time was nothing but T. OK, fine. Now we know one formula in time and work that M1 D1 by W1 will be equal to M2 D2 by W2 where M is number of men or women. D will be number of days and W is number of week. Uh, M1 is number of men. D1 will be number of days and W will be nothing but work. OK, so men or women, whatever it is now friends. So 20 women were employed. So M1 will be 20 to do some work in a certain time. But when one third of the schedule time was over, so one third of the schedule time. So one by three of the T. So my D1 will become one by three into T. And what about work? It was found that only one fourth of the work was completed. So work is nothing but one by four. OK, now how many more women employed? So earlier 20. So now it will become 20 plus X. OK, so 20 plus X women is employed, right? So we are going to employ X more women. So how many more women? employed to work to complete the work in three by fourth of the originally scheduled time. So friends, if I will talk about the work, then work will be definitely three by four, right? Because one by fourth of the work is completed. So three by four. Now here time friends. So actually the work was about to get completed in three by fourth of the originally scheduled time. That is three by four of T. So we have already used one by three of the T time. So now how much time we have remaining? So if you'll subtract, then this will be 12, 4 threes are so 90 minus 3 4 is 40. So 5 t by 12 time we have. So 5 t by 12. Now t and t will get cancelled. Okay. And this 4 and 4 will also get cancelled. So 20 by 3, okay, will be equal to. So here you can see friends 20 plus X. OK, and 5 divided by 12 into 3. OK, this 3 will be here. See 5 by 12, right? So if we have 3 by 4, then what will happen? This 4 will go up and 3 will come down. OK, so anyway, 4 is now eliminated from here. So 3 and 3 done 5 4 jar. So 20 plus X will be equal to 48. So X will be nothing but 48 minus 20. So 28. So 28 more women is required to complete the work in three fourths of the originally scheduled time. OK, now friends question number five. So blue ink in a pen will last for 12 pages where each page has 32 lines. How many pages will half the blue ink last if there are 48 lines per page and there are now 20% less letters than earlier. So friends here what I will do. So I will assume. Okay, I will assume there are okay. Assume there are X words per line. Okay, there are X words per line. So here you can see. So what will be the total number of words? So total number of words if I will calculate. So we have 12 pages. OK, and where each page has 32 lines. So this many lines and X words per line. So this will be the total number of words here. OK, now. How many pages will half the blue ink last if there are 48 lines? So if I will calculate here total number of words. OK, so number of pages we don't know. OK, and line is nothing but 48 lines. And now there are 20 percent less letters. So either you assume letters or words. So earlier it was X. So now it will become because words is having letters. OK, so 20 percent less. So 20, if I will calculate, it will become uh, 1 by 5. So x by 5, if I will subtract, then it will become 4x by 5. Okay. So this will become 4x by 5. Now, 
so if i will calculate the number of pages so let us divide this by p into 48 into 4x and 5 will go up okay now so 12 4 ja will be 48 okay and this x and x will get cancelled 4 into 4 16 16 2 ja so basically if you'll see so if you'll try to calculate the number of pages so 5 into 2 will be nothing but 10 okay so 5 into 2 will be nothing but 10 so total 10 number of pages will be utilized but here they are telling half the blue ink so you have to divide it by you have to divide it by 2 because it will be only using half of the page because sorry uh, uh, it will be only using five page because we are using only half of the ink right so this and this we have equated so then we got to know the pages so basically this p will be here so p will be equal to this so basically we got to know total number of pages is 10 if we have full blue ink but we have half of the ink so definitely it will be only five page so option c will be the correct answer so friends like this questions you will be getting in infinity q so this is a sample paper and it will definitely give you an idea that how you are going to prepare for your examination i hope all these problems are clear if you have any doubt please put a comment in the comment box definitely i will try to reply each one of your queries and friends do not forget to subscribe our youtube channel thank you